city leaders still trying to deal with a rash of water line breaks. The mayor wants to issue a new emergency declaration and borrow state money to fix it. 16 WAPT Scott Simmons is live in North Jackson with the biggest project on that emergency list. Yeah, check it out. This is part of the Chastain water line mess. What the city predicts will cost $300,000 just to fix it. The city says it plans to borrow state money to do this job, but it comes at a time as the city is collecting a sales tax to fix problems like this. Mayor Tony Yarber's revised emergency plan calls for tackling three pressing repair projects. A 24-inch water main at the Chastain water tank, a 20-inch main on Sywell Road, and a water main on Eastover Road. The city sent a letter of intent to borrow $2.4 million from the Department of Health to start that work ASAP. The city recently started collecting a 1% sales tax, money designed to fix sewer, road, and water problems in the city. Before they can use it, an oversight commission has to approve the city's plan. We're waiting on that, that um, commission to make a decision now. Uh, there's a final draft that's before them. Uh, they're deliberating. Uh, we hopefully can get a vote on that and see monies being spent within the next few weeks. But if you're looking for a vote, we're not prepared to vote on it right now. And if you did vote on it, it probably wouldn't pass because we got too many questions about it. Several members of the commission say they are not ready to sign off on anything. Part of the city's master plan is to use millions of dollars collected thus far as leverage to borrow $50 million in bonds to do improvement work over the next 20 years. There were no other projects listed in Bellhaven. But we, yet we had four water line breaks two weeks ago in Bellhaven. Duckworth and Perry say the first 50 projects listed on the long-range plan did not seem to address the city's most pressing problems. It just seems like it's short on telling us long-term how we're attacking the big problems of the city. And there's certainly enough revenue there. It's $200 plus million dollars over 20 years. City leaders say the city's crumbling infrastructure is the result of age and neglect. The administration says it's just trying to start fixing some of these problems now before it gets worse. The city sent a statement late this afternoon pointing out there are 10 members of that commission and if they meet later this month, they'll provide them with more information. In regards to the mayor's emergency declaration, the city council is not expected to meet until next Tuesday. Live in Jackson, Scott Simmons, 16 WAPT News. Scott, thank you so much.